Hello. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Coffee Talk with Tara. I just wanted to come on here and do a Facebook Live because I normally have been doing lives on Instagram at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, but occasionally I come on here and I do both or I just come on to Facebook. So, came on to Facebook today. If you are not following me, please follow me at Tara underscore McCrory on Instagram or be extraordinary dot Tara McCrory as I post different tips and tricks on both. I also have my coffee talks uh, up on YouTube that you can check out and um, here. So if you like what you see, please follow and turn on post notifications so that you know when I go live. Now I wanted to actually come on here and talk about your number one resource, which is the universe, the big guy above, whatever resonates for you, you know, whoever you believe in up there, um, spirit, the universe, divine, there's so many names for the same dude, dudette, entity. And that is, in fact, your number one tool and your number one resource is the universe. And not only the universe, is that each and every one of us has a team that is guiding us. We've got angels guiding us. We've got guides guiding us. And, and they come into our life to help us and to be that personal messenger from the universe is what I'm going to say. And so I've been getting a lot of questions on how do I answer this or how do I get clarity or how do I move forward? And my whole thing all the time is like, well, what's your number one resource? What's your number one tool? And when you understand that the universe and your guides are your number one tool, that person, that entity, that spirit that is giving you, feeding you the greatness of, of the whole universe and information, then you really understand that you've got a tool that you can use 24 seven all the time. And so how you use the tool, this is really difficult for some, but easy at the same time. So I really go into, let's keep it simple. Take some deep breaths and ask a question. So for example, if you're just starting out, take four or five really deep breaths, four seconds in, hold for four seconds and four seconds out. And then what you're going to want to do is when you're doing that, ask a question. So do I have guides? Start with yes or no questions because you're going to hear a yes or no and it's going to be really easy to understand. So let's try it. Do I have guides supporting me? I hear yes. What do you hear? Then you can ask something like, um, are you always with me? Yes or no question. Um, you know, whatever it may be. So for example, I have somebody that I've been helping guide through uh, many circumstances. And so I ask things right away, like, um, for example, people sometimes use Facebook as a journal. They post a lot of things and you have no idea where these things came from. They're just thoughts. They're angry one moment. They're happy the next moment. They say things like just saying on Facebook. They use Facebook as just like a free-for-all wall that they throw up on. And hey, it's good, but it might not actually be good for you. That might not be your best avenue for creative expression. So when you're like all in a tizzy and you're like, I'm going to just put this on Facebook, you could stop and you can ask deep breaths and ask, is Facebook or is social media the best avenue for me to express myself right now? That is a yes or no answer. Your guides will tell you yes or no. Is journaling uh, the best creative expression for me right now? Yes or no. If you start with yes or no questions and you continually ask them, you'll start to build your confidence and be able to understand how you can use your guides and the universe as your number one resource. And I'm telling you, you can ask everything. So sometimes when I'm lost, try this, you're lost on the street, you're driving and you say, okay, I need to get to wherever. Do I turn left or right at the, the lights above? Do I, you know whatever it may be, in a parking lot, you're looking for a spot. Should I turn here? Yes or no? Should I turn here? Yes or no? Um, 
let that guidance come through and practice the whole thing about using your number one resource really and this tool that's available to you the universe is to practice to practice listening to practice asking to understand that you can ask anything and everything and so if you keep it simple with some yes or no questions to begin with um things even like am i grounded yes or no so then if you get a yes you can ask okay on a scale of one to ten how grounded am i ten being i'm so grounded into mother earth i am getting all the information i need i'm getting all the clarity i need i am just like there then they can give you a number and then you can ask well how do i ground myself further or what do i need to do to ground myself or what does grounding mean you know the key to using the number one resource is to really take that beginner's mind and to Be curious and ask and don't be afraid to ask further and I need further clarification. So really, I just wanted to pop on here and say that you have this tool available to you 24-7. This resource of the universe is available to you 24-7. Your guide team is available to you 24-7 all the time. You can ask. People don't even need to know you're asking because you're asking in your head. Ask, receive and process, use the information, use the help that's there, lean into that relationship because really that's what they're doing. Your guide team is cheering you on no matter what, no matter what situation you are in life, they are cheering you on and they want you to move forward and be happy. So today I choose happy and I am off to the lavender farm. I'm so excited. I'll talk to you all later. Bye.